Howdy folks, Rock the Duck Farmer here, and I'm on the FTOG Seopolis Submerged server, hanging out here at the Pillager area, and it's night here, but if I turn just a little bit over here, it's day. And then it's night and day, and day at night, and day, it, yeah, it's a fun little visual glitch where the water disappears, but it is night. Uh, anyway, I ran through here, and I actually cleaned up uh, this area. There were a bunch of barrels full of loot, which I will show off. Uh, I put some torches on uh, each of these spawners. There's a spawner here. You can see a spawner, and there's another spawner way down there. So uh, this is safe. Also, just above my head, above the, those cobblestone blocks, and the, that glitch just is... Mm, uh, let me go back like this. Just above my head there, there's some dark prismarine. Uh, there were some, the prismarine bricks, but I vein mined them with my uh, pickaxe and got rid of them. I also lit up the four of the spawners that were there for the drowned. And uh, there was a barrel in there with some goodness that I went ahead and looted. So um, all that works. And then you may also be saying, why is it so bright in here? And you can see everything so far. And, you know, there's the island that I ended the last episode with. And there's this weird floating eyeball there in the, the top. Well, conduit power, because grabbing that uh, prismarine stuff and some of the loot that I had, I set up this right here. This is a conduit. And if I break this one, oh, come on. Okay, let's go all the way up to the, the top. There we go. And now I can also break this one that I can see. And this is a conduit here. This, um, I was able to grab one of the heart of the sea and then some nautilus shells and surround it. This is vanilla Minecraft, uh, this setup here. Uh, I do need to, uh, put these guys back and that that makes for me with this five by five hollow uh, area well five by five by five hollow area this gives me breathing all the way through here it gives me uh, great vision so I can see stuff oh hey there's a little bit of a uh, uh, the clay here that I haven't snagged. Uh, you can also see how much areas I've just vein mined out as far as getting the oh there's more clay uh, getting the uh, all the f gravel out of this area. I also had some fun uh, going around and grabbing as many of the different colored bricks or not bricks, but just colored stones that I could find. That's gravel. That's diorite. Uh, just grabbing as many as I could because fun. Anyway, uh, that that made this so nice because I'm not losing my breath down here and it's great visual. And if, if there's any drowned, which there really haven't been, uh, they will get hurt when they get close to to that center. So very handy. Hey, let's get up and out of here. All right, close the door. Uh, this has been going like gangbusters. You can see <laughs> how much I've got there. Uh, and actually, I do want to steal this. I want to come over here and I want to make this the cooking pot. Since I've got iron now, I'm going to do that. Uh, oh, and I got me a bucket back. I'm always surprised, but uh, that that's a, a good thing. I'm happy to have that. Uh, let's move those down to my barn because I'm going to put the stove there and my cooking pot on top of the store. Oh, hey, <laughs> achievement. And uh, I've got a bunch of things in here that I can do. Like, let's grab these. And there's a ton of different foods that the cooking pot uh, makes available for me. I've been harvesting the onions. I've been doing the cabbage leaf that you just chop it uh, on the cutting board. There we go. Dumplings. Um, <laughs> dumplings oh, we've been chatting on the server i'm gonna put that away uh so i've got two blue hearts which is a lot of hearts uh this has been going here like gangbusters and so well that i've been going through and taking the these bottom rows and feeding them to the the system over there to make more bone meal just because you know i'm gonna have to disable these because they're just growing too too nicely for me all right, uh, there's that. Uh, this has been working very nicely. In fact, uh, all the the bamboo is filled up with that. And I still have just a little bit of kelp as I'm processing stuff. I moved my resource collectors over to here so that there's more way of accessing them. Uh, that was entirely full. I did steal a row of the cobble to row it, run through the eroding water. Oh, hey, I can uh, run through it and... Uh, 
get ready to do how did that oh it's just got a few left of uh oh no it's doing the dust now i thought i did an entire stack oh there's some dust blocks in here okay dust blocks are gonna do nothing uh yeah the the, the dust blocks are doing nothing where's my sand sand do i have sand dust 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 dust, dust. there's the sand okay let's grab all the dust out of here give me that Oh no! Sand it can it can do. All right, so there's there's my dust blocks. Let's grab. Oh, that's the sand stuff. They are. I wish that they were easier to tell the difference. Anyway, so there's my dust blocks, and I will process them. But for right now, I'm gonna hold off. Let's just dump them in here because I don't need to process them. I will. I will. But uh, okay. Uh, conduit this I looted that and that worked out very nicely in fact let's go upstairs and look at a little bit of the loot so uh, this was the buried treasure that I, I got and that's where I, I got the heart of the sea and 12 nautilus shells or 10 nautilus shells because I only needed eight to make that uh, that uh, conduit power down there uh, and there's enough heart of the sea for me to make several more of those which would be really cool uh the pillager tower just was full of stuff lots of nautilus shells which is which is good i can spawn a wolf and use some bones hey look i've got some bones to uh, have me a a, a pet wolf eh, maybe not just because unless there's something specific i need for that dog it's just gonna tick and so I, I don't really need that. Anyway, I want to put all that stuff here. This was the prismarine structure that I got down below. And that has another wolf on there. It had uh, these were barrels that didn't fit from the pillager tower and uh, colored bricks. I found a bunch more. Uh, I processed the cyan and the red. Um, what was it? Oh, I finally found a green. I was trying to look for that for forever. Uh, let's grab stuff here because um, I've got leather and if I've got a chest and or some leather here like this that gives me a backpack which is nice i like having that in fact i'm going to because of the the color theme it's going with light blue and uh then i'm going to put the iron around it because i've got that and now it's an iron backpack and if i put that oh nope that's the sound i don't want to muffle anything right now i uh, shift click oh, eh, eh. don't i have a oh that's a back option uh yeah i'll put these down here under ring and now i can click that now i've got a backpack and uh there it is on my back and it matches everything else here in the building so uh i think uh stop looking at you there we go uh i keep wanting to hit b for backpack but that does the waypoint i will set up a a key binding so that i can access my backpack with b but um all right, so that's done, that's done. Oh, over here, um, I've got some animals uh, because I used the spawner and I set it up like this so I can pull them out uh, with dirt underneath and with the, if we go here, uh, cow spawning. If I use leather, I can get a cow and I did it twice. Well, how do you get leather, says the people to Grok. Uh, I made some bundled flesh and uh, ran it through the, the drying table, and that gave me a leather. And bundled flesh is uh, four of those uh, rotten flesh from zombies, and that gives you two. And that was sufficient for two cows. And then I fed them some uh, wheat. Uh, these seeds, I think it was. Uh, this was wheat, and uh, these guys were carrot i'm trying to remember it's it's all in jei yeah, yeah, it'll tell you so uh because i want to start now that i've got a bunch of these i want to start uh, harvesting them down and uh, getting some meat from these guys for more foods yum all right i don't need the eggs ah good we got rid of them in fact these eggs over here i'm getting ready to uh, get rid of all of those guys because i have so many eggs uh and i don't need them but what I do want to do is uh, process me some stuff. And you can see I've prepped up a bunch of things here. Uh, these are the resource two generators. And I used them instead of the resource ones uh, because these use lapis instead of iron. And I'm kind of thinking I would like to keep the, the iron instead of the lapis. So I just put the, um, the cobblestone on top. This generates cobble. And with the eroding water uh, in there, it's making for me gravel. And uh, I've 
AFK'd enough doing things, setting this up, that my bamboo mesh has uh, made enough of these that it's full and it's stopped. Uh, and this has another bamboo mesh ready to pour in. This one has two stages, cobblestone, sand, or gravel, and then sand. There's my sand. And this one up here has three stages. So that does the cobblestone, it does the gravel, it does the sand, and down here is the dust. And that's been working very, very nicely for me. However, I, I, I need to connect all this stuff together. And for that, we're going to jump into a few questies. Uh, interestingly, I'm missing a stick. Thought I had all the stuff I needed, but evidently no. Uh, can't use that one because that's full. We'll use this one here. Grab my two sticks and make a copper pickaxe because that will open up this quest. There we go. And I'm going to make two of these crafters here. And uh, that's going to be useful in a few seconds. In fact, if I come over here, hey, look, there's stuff I need. And uh, yep, those will be useful in a second. I need to take you. I'm going to go like that. And then uh, the copper ingot will give me nuggets. And then here, uh, I'm not even going to try to remember. There we go. Let's shift click that in. Uh, two of these crafters. I'm putting you there. Do you stack? Oh, they do stack. Oh, that's very handy. All right. And I don't need the, the nugget for right now. In fact, I will put you away. I'm going to grab four of these sticks and seven of these bamboo for a reason. Now, if we hop up here on my carefully placed <laughs> dirt and stuff, I've got over here two botany pots that are filled. Oh, holy cow, they are very full of the uh, bamboo. And I'm going to put one here and one there. And then here I'm going to go. And that is, yep. As soon as you put whatever you want, it will duplicate it with anything coming in, which is fine. And this over here, I'm going to go like, nope, that. And then those can go there. And that's how I make bamboo mesh, which is cool because that's what these things need. I need... A, I may not be, I don't have enough. All right, let's make real quick another six there. Another wooden hopper. You go up there, you go up there. Want to see a nice visual glitch? Shift click. <laughs> I get one. <laughs> the first time I saw that visual glitch, I just went, wow, <laughs> which was not good. Okay, I'm going to jump and right click that there. Uh, so I want... If I come up, 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 and up, and up, uh, what I want is, oh, I should have done two of these. <laughs> uh, this is making uh, the bamboo, which is going into here. And this is going to make for me sticks, which then get collected here and shoved into this crafter, which is going to take these bamboo and sticks that it's getting from the other. And it's going to be making mesh. And, oh, it's uh, growing. All right, let me grab another hopper because that needs to go into a drawer. In fact, let's grab six of you and I want four of you. Well, two times four, that will give me a chest. You know, let, let's, let's do two chests and make it a double chest so it can hold more. I want to go boink. <laughs> the first time I saw that, I went, I just panicked when I saw that, but uh, now I just don't care. All right, you go up in there. Let's give me a second drawer, or drawer, not, a second chest. And the question is, do I want to point it over to here or point it over to there? You know, I don't think it really matters. I'm going to put it like this and let's go doink. And so at this point, well, that's one reason why I don't want it there. <laughs> All right. Wow. Oh, Fraction Flash just joined the, on the server. All right. Let's put that there and that there and that there. Good. Okay. Now I can say howdy. There we go. Because it pays to be nice on the server. All right. Let's jump up here. Uh, one of the things that this quest wants me to do is make this 
Opalus wrench, which if I look at the, oh, just tin. That's pretty cheap. Okay, I will do that. But uh, for right now, I just wanted to make these two uh, crafters. And if I had the wrench, I could just right click and see information. But I'm going to turn that on. It's making sticks. That's going down into here. And it's putting it into place. And now if I turn this on, this is now making for me these bamboo mesh. And so as soon as this, you know, it, it gets all the bits it needs, some of it from up above, uh, some of it from the sticks over here, this is just going to make for me bamboo mesh, bamboo mesh, bamboo mesh. And I'm going to go with bamboo mesh for what I'm doing. 320 uses, that's pretty decent. And for the, the resource gathering I'm doing behind me, 300, the, these work just exactly as I need. And I'm getting them for free. You know, there you go. I, it's one sixth filled and it's just going to process through in a very short amount of time. This will be filled with bamboo mesh. So yay. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, great. Okay. Now, if we come over to here, uh, there's some other things I want to make. I'm going to grab this. And if I put 10, I think I should have been nine in there. Or did I miscount? I needed two more. Doot and doot. All right. So now I'm doing four sets of these. These are the inventory cables from Tom's storage. I've done very little. I'm thinking pretty much I've done nothing with Tom's storage. I'm, I'm trying to think if I've ever used it in anything. I'm drawing a blank, so I think I've done like nothing. Uh, I will grab these because if I put that there and half and half and then nine of these here, you can tell how carefully I counted them. I'm going to get nine of these basic inventory hoppers. Shift click. All right, so now I've got some leftovers here. And uh, the other also thing that I need to, I need one of these and I need some bronze. Let's come over here and uh, one, two, three. Let's do three bronze make ingots out of those for fun. All right. If we go back to the quests. So here, the inventory cable did that. Where'd bronze go? Oh, that wants over here to make storage cores. And I do need to make a bunch of these storage cores. And did I get everything set up over here the way I wanted to? Nope. Because I set them up over here <laughs> uh, for the people who are paying attention. You saw that already. Uh, I'm going to make 11 of these storage cores. Shift click. And uh, that's that's why I did a bunch of the, the bronze. All right. So now I've got a bunch of the storage cores. I can come up to here and one, two and three. I can sh shift click them into here and I can get framed drawers. This just saves me sticks, uh, six sticks each. I'm okay with that. I will go ahead and do this and I'm going to grab some of these because if I put him there and surround it with those and it's not working, uh, what was it that I needed? I'm trying to remember where I read this frame drawers. Hopes. Yeah, this is 32 stacks. There was custom drawers. Oh, Crafting place, a frame to drawer in the bottom, bottom right. And then the rest of the box you with the other textures. That's what I want. Bottom right. I knew I had read it. There we go. And so I'm going to make some of these blue brick uh, frame drawers. In fact, I'm going to make three of them. And it does consume the, the resources, which is okay because I'm actually using them. And I'm going to take and put them here because this is where my dust and sand and gravel are going to go and now i can use them which will make them very very handy so there is that uh in fact i'm going to i'm going to go dunk, dunk, and doink. these guys are going to import the items that i want and for that i need a single bit of dust and i need a single bit of sand it's going to do some work and as soon as it fills up, then it's done. And a single bit of gravel. All right. And then I'll teach these things. Let's do dust, sand, gravel, because that's the order in which they're being generated back there. So this is dust. And if I right click that, it's now filtered with dust. This is filtered with sand and this is filtered with gravel. 
and then I'll put dust, sand, and gravel here. Uh, I do want to make these keys because I do like to lock them. I do like to have the quantity on them. Uh, I'll, I'll make this one. I, I don't care about hiding the stuff. I would, I, I'd rather see these. So anyway, that's the output. So the output is done. And then, uh, oh, I have six more of these hoppers. Oh, I need... <laughs> That's full. <laughs> That's free. All because they they've sat there for a long time and processed all the stuff. All right, let's hop up here. And so you get it, and you get it, and you get it. And we'll go right click, right click, right click. So these will get the these will pull the bamboo meshes. Did you get that? Okay. I think you got that. They fade away, but uh, as I look at them they they don't tell me they still have it. and then the last three go over here as well uh you can tell that this has the bamboo mesh but these ones they've broken and they've gone away uh likewise this one is broken and and that one's still fine but uh they need to have more bamboo mesh and here's where i may actually need to make some more cables so we're gonna connect these cables and over here, you connect and you connect and you connect. One more here. And then we need to connect these two down here with these. Uh, I don't think I need to connect all of them. I'm going to connect these two like that. You can go up and up and up. And then you can come up and up and up. And we'll go over one. It really doesn't no matter which direction I go. At this point, I think I can start getting rid of my dirt because I don't think I need this to be around here anymore. I'm um, pretty much. I have... Oh, I've been going over there. There's no room for that. I'm looking over here, that's a dirt that can go away. I think I can get rid of all of the dirts now. And yes, they're they're all set up. It's kind of a mess, but it's kind of cool looking from below here as well. All right, so those are all in place. And oh, I, I'm just going to add the extra mesh over here, which is another reason why I'm going with that mesh. So if I want to do anything specific manually, I can do it over here. Uh, all right, so that's almost complete. I need to make, uh, that's all done here. I made the crafter, the pot, the stove, the conduit, the backpack, the cow. I showed the inventory. I did the frame. I did this. Oh, these last two. Yes, I need to make three of these. And that's why I still have these cores. Oh, have I miscounted something? Oh, I see. I probably need to make another set. For fun, I'm going to make another set of the cables. Just because why not? I can see I've got five left and I'm saying that's not enough. Uh, I can tell right now. All right. Uh, I want to make three of these inventory connectors. Oh, and that's saying that uh, my uh, new fans for the computer have arrived. Uh, so I'm going to make three of these inventory cable connectors. One, two, and three. And then I'm also going to grab this. I think I go like that make the inventory uh yes let's don't i have i i should have made two sets <laughs> well let's do that so to do everything i did i needed five of the six six sets of these cables that's far more cables than i thought i thought i'd have plenty left over all right now i can shift click the inventory connector doink and the question is, I might need the bottoms. I I am still going to need the bottom. I'm going to shift click that here. And this is seeing nothing. But if I were next to any of these contiguous blocks, it would see them. I am going to go shift click that and shift click that and shift click that so now this guy is going to be able to see the contents there the contents there and the contents here and i think 
I might have just enough cables. <laughs> what should be happening now is these are putting in, there's the dusts going in, there's the sands going in, there's the gravels going in. They're pulling them from here because of the inventory cable connector. It sees that content and that's going to go ahead and shove them into here. And these are filtered so they only shove, because they're hoppers, they're only outputting the stuff I filtered them to. Likewise, those hoppers up there should be... Oh, this, it doesn't have a connector for this, so it isn't seeing the fact that I've got uh, the... Okay, if this connector were right there, I'm going to do that. I'm going to change this. I need an X. You're breaking there, and I'm breaking that connector right there. And now I can put this here and a cable connect right there. And now these should start going away. Yep. And it's starting to fill up the uh, the drawers up above uh, or the, the filters up above. So that's filtered. Both of those are filtered and all three of those are filtered. All right. So this sees everything that has a cable connector on it for inventory. Also, any adjacent storage blocks. So it sees all of those. It's doing a pretty good job. Uh, I wasn't thinking of making it, but I think I will. Uh, I've got an extra storage core. I miscounted. I mean, I did it perfectly. 100% perfectly. Uh, let's look at the quests. Uh, not this side. Let's go to automation. Uh, storage terminal. I might as well make one of these. This needs more cores, more cables, and the, the chests. I have insufficient cables. I needed seven sets of cables. Lots of cables. <laughs> and and you can see my, my driftwood is actually going down quite well. Uh, what else do I... Oh, I need more in here. Let's just grab all of that and we'll grab uh three of you i got four you and you and you that'll make another set of cables because i need that and I shift that away and then the cores are on you uh bronze nugget i've got insufficient grab another one of these make more nuggets uh, oh, I need some drawer or not drawers, but I need some chests and then some just some regular. So you can shift with you out of the way. All right. So one, two, three. There's three chests and then one, two. I will have more. All right. So I want to make three chests. That was not enough. There we go. So three chests. Now I should be able to make three of these. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Did I need that many? I'm trying to remember. What am I making? This, the storage terminal. I didn't need to make. Oh, no, I did need four. Okay. I need to click here again. And then. How? All right. Let's see if I can. I obviously did not make enough for the two drawers I needed, did I? No, I did not. Let's make those. I keep calling it drawers. They're not drawers. They are chests. There we go. I need one of you, one of you. I need you and you and you and you. Uh, there was this and that, and I think one last one was a cable. I was wrong. Was it like this where I needed two cables? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at the recipe. Oh, it was no. Okay. Okay. So not you, not you. You go here, you go there, you go there and grab one more cable. Boom. There we go. There's the storage terminal and that will give me the, the questy. The, the, the reason why I have the storage terminal is as long as it's connected anywhere here. Uh, you know, I'm going to put it upside down. Or, you know, pointing down this way. That should see everything that this sees. Huh. It's not. Okay. I will put it directly on this bad boy. Now I can see everything that's here. All right. So 
um, this gives me a chance to kind of count and see what's what's going on. If I need bamboo, if I need sticks, I can I can pull all these things down. I can I can do the work. Um, this just lets me see what's going on. And I like that. And how are you still doing? <laughs> this this is working fantastic. Uh, you are still slowly pulling the stuff through. And I'm okay with that. Uh, yep. Eventually, I'm going to have all these things here. And I may need to make for me uh, the the some storage upgrades, which I can do through spending the C bucks. And I've not spent any of them. But it would be nice to have lots and lots and lots and lots of these resources uh, just because this is going to process for me. OK, that's a that's a big mess of stuff there, but it's working really well. Uh, I, I must confess, I visited Smash's base and is young still. Yes, he is. Uh, I visited his base and he had these way up high in his area to generate for him all the, the the dust and the sand and the gravel and i thought that was a, such a cool idea I, I decided to borrow that for me here he is now processing these all automatically and and I, i'm not at that point yet i can do things manually with this as necessary this gives me lead but if we take a look at dust and I don't need the cap lock on uh with the dust here if i that's generating using I can start getting the silver and the gold and I can start getting some other things as, as soon as I get higher levels of stuff. Now, not the amethyst. I want to the next, I think not gold quartz. Ah, that was too slow. There we go. Quartz. I need to get this going and to make the nether quartz, I'm going to need to can't do that. Can't do that. I'm going to need to take, uh, can't do this, but I do need to make quartz dust and this this is thermal expansion to make the quartz dust i can pulverize it that's not going to work for me i need to do some strainer stuff iron bronze iron or bronze nether mulch nether infused water will get me some quartz dust so that means i need to figure out how to make this nether infused water eh that's another episode <laughs> for right now i'm really happy that i've gotten these set up that makes me very, very happy. Uh, I will spend some time off camera uh, making the, the rest of these bits. And I, I, I really don't think I'll be using these, but OK, they're they're nice to have. Um, sure, fine. Uh, but uh, I do want to make the why did you? Uh, because I didn't complete them before. I'm, I'm going to be making more of those. Uh, or I may break one of those up there, uh, make another one of these, make one of these crafting terminals. That's handy to have, but pipes, wrenches, uh, make the rest of these block breakers, block placers. I can start taking crafters to craft for me the various ores from the, the bits that I'm getting and have them make the gravel that will then get broken. And I wonder if I need a shovel in here or if that will work. Uh, by itself uh, and I'll take the and break that and that will get me the ores that I can then feed through you know some sort of smelting process so there's a lot of automation that could be done with this now that I've got access to although I haven't completed these these crafters here and this is a, a fun little way of accessing my stuff obviously I'm gonna have to reduplicate all of these bits that I need the the core there's you know that are yeah that inventory connector plus all I, I keep calling it the core but it's not plus a, a crafting storage terminal and then and all the rest of it so i can see my things and i'm trying to figure out where am i gonna put my inventory because animals are over here and this i i think i need to move my animals a little bit so that i can access them better uh i think that's definitely what needs to be done the animals need to be moved over so the piggies and the the uh the ducks chickens they need to come over here uh, but then i haven't all right i'm gonna have to probably expand my base uh that or I start doing some upstairs kind of like i did this i don't know <laughs> anyway this is big rock the duck farmer here having a blast doing some crafting getting some stuff done uh, i still need to rebind my uh, backpack but uh loving the fact that now i've got all the dust and gravel and sand that i need because uh, I, I was running out of sand a whole bunch needing some extra glass. 
and uh it's fun it's lots and lots of fun and thanks for watching hey get out of the way there we go <laughs> bye <laughs>